Hey everyone, Black Six from BZ Power back here for another LEGO set review. Today we have got 21120, uh, the snow hideout from the LEGO Minecraft line. Uh, the set will be on store shelves, shelves shortly. I believe it's scheduled to release at the beginning of August. Uh, LEGO was kind enough to send us a copy of early for us to review. Uh, this set contains 237 pieces and will retail for $34.99 in the States. Uh, you can't see that because this is the European version that just has the age range and the set number. Um, but it does also have the Minecraft branding front and center with, of course, the Creeper. Interesting call out here to build your own creations with some inspiration included. Uh, nice little action feature call out here. We can see that the hut or igloo uh, apparently opens up and allows you to uh, play on the inside. And then the bottom left here, we can see the characters included in this set, including uh, Steve with a shovel, a creeper, and a snow golem. Some nice printed parts in here we'll take a closer look at. And of course, you know, on the, the front we see there's an igloo, there's a tree, creeper chasing after Steve. He's got a pickaxe, shovel. Uh, so, you know, Good, uh, good variety of different things going on here. Uh, obviously, we'll take a closer look at those uh, in the set. Going on to the back, uh, we've got a bunch of different callouts here. So apparently, there's uh, kind of an exploding bridge or snow drift that you can use to launch the creeper, uh, the interior of the igloo with a workbench for Steve. Uh, Steve can use his axe to, uh, I guess, mine materials. Uh, again, call it for the build your own creations. Snow Golem uses the new stud shooters to shoot, and uh, because of the uh, the way they design these Minecraft things, uh, you know the pieces are modular and you can modular and you can stack them on top. And of course, we can also now see that the roof of the igloo opens up and then it folds out so you can access the interior. So it's a pretty nice touch. Uh, anyway, we don't care too much about the outside of the box. Let's take a look at what is inside. All right, so we have got, uh, looks like four bags or so. So there's uh, one, another one numbered one, another one numbered two, another one numbered two. So four bags, two ones and two twos, a nice white base plate. Uh, this looks to be about, what, 16 by 16? Um, you know, white, nice piece there. And one instruction manual. Uh, same picture on the front, on the back you can win. Uh, let's see, you can see the first bag builds certain things, and then I'm sure uh, if we get to the part for the second bag. So like the uh, crafting box that I reviewed, um, earlier you know it's all very modular and you build different components it looks like and then put them all together uh, so then let's get to the good parts at the end um, oh interesting so we've got a uh, little uh, advertisement for minecraft uh, kind of a retro late 70s early 80s computer ad um, you know more ads for the sets so all of the different sets coming out there. Share your own creations, lego.com slash Minecraft. Uh, so I guess I probably skipped through the part where it gives you inspiration for other models, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that later, I guess. Uh, let's take a closer look at the pieces now. Okay, so here we've got the pieces in the set. Uh, we took a look at the base plate before, so no need to look at that again. Uh, so here's the first bag or the first number one with the smaller pieces. The ones that stood out to me uh, are the pickaxe, uh, not a new piece, um, but still yeah, very Minecraft themed. I'm not sure if the shovel is new or not, uh, but again, a nice Minecraft themed piece. The stud cheater is not a new piece. It's been out since last year, but I don't believe it's been available in uh, reddish brown up until this point. So we get a couple of those in that color. Uh, then we've got a one by two brick with uh, three black dots printed on it for the snow golem. And then we also get a matching one by one tile with three black dots. We get a couple of those. And then we've got this two by two uh, dark tan or nougat, whatever color that is, tile 
with uh, I guess the crafting table pattern printed on it. That's very nice. Uh, otherwise, you know, you get some jumper plates, some tiles, some uh, masonry bricks, uh, you know, other tiles, you get uh, nice snot pieces, um, pieces for some torches, but nothing here that is too crazy. All right, going on to the larger pieces of the number one bags, the ones that jumped out at me. Uh, we've got this nice one by two by two by two snot bracket in uh, bright green. Uh, I have not seen this in this color, but it may have existed previously. Uh, we've got, of course, the creeper head and the uh, snow golem heads, which are nicely printed. From uh, when you first look at them, you think it's just a solid color, but there's really two uh, two color printing on there: a darker and a lighter brown. Also for the crafting table, we've got these one by two bricks with a printed pattern. Uh, we've got the creeper body. Kind of would have been nice, I think, in my opinion, to have uh, some smaller pieces make this up, but that's what um, you know, Mojang and Lego just do. Uh, some dark green one by two bricks and dark red two by two, so those are nice to have. Uh, trans two by two 45 degree slope, trans dark blue. They've got these um, trans light blue and trans green 2x2 two two bricks. Now, I want to call them out because they actually look like it's a new mold or relatively recent mold. You can see, I almost at first thought, looking at the light blue one, that there's a hole in the middle because of the way they're designed. Um, they definitely seem to be a different mold than we've had in the past. Now, that just may be because I haven't looked at these closely uh, in a couple of years. Uh, you know, it could be, it's probably not brand new, but jumped out at me. Otherwise, we've got some different base plates, some blue base plates for water, white for more snow. And then uh, there's a lot of basic bricks. We've got tan, white, uh, green plates, brown, uh, pieces of Steve are in there. We'll take a closer look at him uh, when we get to the finished set. We look at the minifigs. Um, but anyway, moving on to the number two bags. This one's got a lot of jumper plates and tiles, so we've got like white jumper plates and white tiles, um, some basic plates, some hinge pieces, some grass pieces, nothing too missing. Nothing in this bag really jumped out at me as being really special. Um, same thing with the larger one. Yeah, we've got, again, some base plates. Uh, we do have this L-shaped plate, but nothing too new. And then a lot of basic bricks. We've got you know, basic white and brown and light gray and dark gray. Uh, you know, some nice brown tiles. Some, uh, some nice pieces, but it's all very basic, you know. Uh, uh, so nothing, we have, oh, we have a nice Technic brick and light tan. But again, it's nothing that uh, you're gonna write home about, um, except for the printed pieces. And uh, if you're a Minecraft fan, you'll probably like those, but otherwise, nothing here. Uh, it's too amazing in my book, although it is always nice to get some more basic bricks. Anyway, let's uh, put this puppy together and see what the final set is like. Okay, so here we've got the finished set, but before we take a closer look at that, I want to take a look at the instructions. So after you're done building the set, it has a section called uh, Rebuild Inspiration, where you can take 
two parts of the set, the roof of the igloo and the little water area. And um, you know, take them apart and then it gives you some instructions to build a new uh, kind of module. And then you can do that, uh, you know, assemble that to build uh, something else over here, kind of like a little waterfall um, and a kind of mountain area. So that's kind of nice. That's the only real um, rebuild inspiration that they give you, but uh, I think it's better than nothing. So anyway, let's take a look at the snow hideout. We'll start by taking a look at the final figs. So first we have got Steve. Uh, looks the same as he did in the first wave of sets. Uh, blocky head printed on the front. Um, torso with only a little bit of blocky printing on there and uh, plain purple legs. He's got his pickaxe and his shovel. Uh, nothing too exciting. We've got the creeper who um, I believe is also the same as in the first wave of sets. Head with just printing on one side. No printing on the body, but it is a uh, rather specialized piece. And finally, we've got the snow golem, who uses the same blocky head as Steve and the creeper, uh, but in orange with a different print. He's got two of these stud blasters on his arms, kind of like, uh, I guess, we're supposed to be like wooden arms. And he uses the printed tile and brick to get a snowman uh, effect going on. No printing on the back, but um, I think he's kind of cool. Um, you know, obviously I'm assuming that the orange head is accurate to the game, um, but I thought, think it would be nice if uh, we could get one of these heads in white so we could make just a snowman out of this. Um, as far as the set itself goes, you know, the build was pretty straightforward. It's a lot of basic bricks and some plates, uh, nothing too exciting here. You know, you build things like, uh, like this tree, which has got some trans green and dark green in it. Um, you know, looks looks like a tree. You can definitely tell that it is a tree. Um, you know, we've got the torches that we put in a couple of different places, a bucket of water. I assume these are like, supposed to be ice cubes or something that, uh, you know, Steve can like walk across. Um, you know, again, not having played the game, uh, it does put me at a little bit of a disadvantage here. Uh, we've got the igloo here that has a chimney, um, it has a door that can open, if you move the creeper out of the way, you can see it can open quite a bit. Uh, and then if we open it, oh, there's the golem. I'll just pick it up, oh, I'll break all sorts of stuff. So the, uh, the top is only attached by two jumper plates, so that will pop off pretty easily, um, allowing you to get inside. But then if we look in here, see I broke a little piece there. Uh, you can see you have like the furnace or uh, fire here and the crafting table here. Not much going on on the other side. Uh, so if you fold it back up, you know, you can pretty much access everything just by taking the roof off. But it's, uh, it's nice to have the options. Um, like the other Minecraft sets, or at least the crafting box that uh, I reviewed earlier, uh, the set is pretty modular. Like so, for example, the, uh, this water area here is just attached by a single stud or I guess a single brick for studs. So you can easily pop that off and if you wanted to move it around. Um, you know, the fences are on there pretty loose. Um, there is, in addition to like the opening up, there is a play feature here. So you've got these, um, the snow area with these jumper plates. And if we put the creeper on there, uh, and if he's coming after Steve, you can push down on this and uh, kind of acts as a little catapult in here and shoots those blocks. Uh, in every direction and anything sitting on top of it, like in this case, the creeper. So it's a uh, pretty effective. Uh, I think it definitely works. Um, you know, I think if you are a fan of Minecraft, there's probably a good bit of play value in this set. Um, as you're seeing them, you know, because of this, these designs with these two by two jumpers that everything's attached on stuff does fall off kind of easily. Um, you know, some, and it's kind of inconsistent. Like, so there are some things that are built on top of those two by two jumpers. Like for example, these like mineral blocks are, but other things like these ice cube blocks are not. Um, I only call that out because they actually tell you to build these ice cube blocks separately near the very beginning. And then only, it's not until the very end where you know, they have you attach them like that. So that was um, a little, a little odd. Um, you can see that, you know, this set is designed to uh, connect with the other ones. So on the back, on the side here, 
There's an exposed two by two red or brown brick and there's another one on the back. So if you get uh, more sets, you know, you can attach them together and make a complete Minecraft biome um, and just have like a little bit of everything going on in your Minecraft world. So it's uh, nice that the designers kind of gave that thought and of course they, you know, Lego wants you to buy uh, as many of the sets as you can afford um, so you can attach them together and uh, give them some more money. Um, so for, for my thoughts, this is 327 pieces. It's going to retail for $34.99. Um, a lot of basic bricks and some plates and stuff. I don't see it as being uh, worth the money. But if you're a fan of Minecraft, you know, obviously that value is going to increase for you. You know, personally, uh, I don't play the game. So, um, you know, I, I'm looking at this from a different perspective. Uh, and just kind of as from a Lego set perspective, you know, the build is obviously pretty basic and blocky because it is uh, based on Minecraft. You know, I'm not going to knock it for that, but it's just not something that appeals to, uh, to me personally. Um, and, you know, I think, uh, like I said, the, the, um, the value you're getting for the parts when it's a lot of basic bricks, uh, I, I just don't see it's there uh, to, to me. But like I said, your mileage may vary. If you're a fan of Minecraft, you may very well love this set. And uh, if you are a fan, you know, this is one of the cheaper ones coming out in the summer. I believe the second cheapest. So this would be a good entry point into the Minecraft theme if uh, you're interested in uh, jumping from the game to the uh, real life Lego bricks. Um, all right, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this review, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can get all of our latest videos as soon as we post them. Uh, of course, you can also check out the full review for this set on BZ Power. We'll have pictures and a more in-depth write-up about the set. And finally, uh, you know, while you're over there checking out the review, visit BZ Power. Check out our message boards. We've got a lot of discussions going on every day. Uh, people are sharing their creations. Uh, we've got contests and stuff, uh, raffles going on, uh, giving out free Lego. Who doesn't love free Lego? And uh, yeah, so check out our community, join the fun, and uh, hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching, everyone.